Back to what I was saying before. My theory. Oh, God. Um, Steve Rogers did not have a girlfriend before he went into the service. Says who? The History Channel. So he becomes Captain America. And from that moment on, a symbol of America, he is rushed to the front lines. He becomes a war hero. Then he is frozen in ice. Right. So based on right. everything you've told me, mm -hmm. after he gets unfrozen, he goes from world-threatening disaster to world-threatening disaster. That's when he's not a fugitive from the law, right? So it seems like he was pretty, pretty busy. All you're doing is repeating everything that I've already told you about my friend and colleague. Obviously, Captain America wasn't virgin. Look out! In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the people are protected by two separate yet equally important groups. The heroes who save them and the attorneys who clean up their collateral damage. But only one can be both. This is her story. Dun dun. Lawyer show. She Hulk's a legal comedy like we've never done before. All rise. Whoa! Change back now! And me! What's fun is the types of Marvel characters that come to her for legal advice. No judge is going to take this seriously unless we do things by the book. Mm -hmm. The book of Ashanti. No, the book of American uh, laws. It's a law show, like Ally McBeal or the practice. And then it breaks all those rules. The fun of the show is to combine this legal world and all of the possibilities around superhero weirdness. Call my lawyer. I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Yeah! We're really pushing boundaries. Other shows haven't before. Case closed. Dun-dun.